In this video, I'm going to talk about instance methods, which are methods that belong to an object, and they may or may not affect the values of the object's fields, and these instance methods are not static. Let me show you exactly what an instance method is. Let's go back to our person class, where we have two fields, name and age, and we have getter and setter methods for those fields. And let's take a look at class demo, where we created a person object, and we have two method calls right here, set name and set age, and also get name and get age method calls right here. These are all instance methods, meaning that only a person object, A, or the instance of a person class can call these methods. You can't just call them without an object prefixing it first. Let's create some more instance methods. Let's create two more. So if you notice that we are printing out Bob's name and age in this print line statement, but it would have been a lot easier if we just had this code inside of an instance method called display, public void display. And in here, we could say system.out.println name is age years old. It's like that. And we don't have to say get name or get age. And even though they're private, they're publicly accessible within this class. Because I'm in the same class, it'll find it. So now that I have this display method, I can go here. And I don't need this line of code anymore. I don't have to call the get methods to get the data. I could simply say a.display and call that instance method and that will run and print out Bob's age. Let's create another instance method called happy birthday that will increment the person's age. Public void happy birthday and if this method is called we're going to print to the screen happy birthday. out the person's name too and an exclamation mark why not and what else happens when it's a person's birthday does the name or the age field get affected the age one does and it's age plus plus but the name doesn't change so we're not going to mess with that one so age plus plus is what happens when Bob has a birthday let's go back to our class demo and let's call this instance method a dot happy birthday and you could see that Bob is 20 years old. Happy birthday, Bob. Let's see if let's see what Bob's age is now. A dot display again. Now Bob is 21 years old. You can see that the happy birthday method incremented Bob's age by one and also told him happy birthday. And again, this is an instance method because only a person object can call this method. It doesn't make sense to say happy birthday by itself you need an object in front of it because what's having a birthday you don't know what it is that's having a birthday but by saying a dot happy birthday we know that it's Bob that person object the instance of that class is having the birthday also I want to point out that in the person class notice that all the methods that we created don't have the word static in there. None of them say static like, like you're used to. In the main method it says static, public static void main, whereas all these instance methods don't have the word static on there. And keep that in mind when you're creating methods that only belong to, a, to an object, such as a person object in this example. Check out the video that I have that explains the differences between static and non-static methods. And also in the next video I'll show you guys how to add static methods to your class and we'll, again we'll see what the differences are. So thanks for watching.